Hello and welcome to the Watch Kaki channel where we bring you all the good and honest watch reviews. If you're new to my YouTube channel, please come back every week because I have new videos uploaded weekly just for you. So the idea behind today's video actually came from one of my viewers. I received an email last week from this viewer who asked me a question and he was asking between the Seiko Samurai and the Seiko Turtle, which one should he be getting? And his question actually got me thinking a lot because I'm sure uh, many of you out there, including myself, uh, when we got started in Seiko Divers Collection, I'm sure this question came across. Uh, which one should you get? Should you get the Samurai or the Turtle? So I'm just going to spend some time to talk about these two models. I'm going to share with you my thoughts on these two models. And finally, I'm going to tell you which one you should be getting. All right, just let me share with you uh, some of the similarities that you will see on these two models, the Seiko Samurai and the Seiko Turtles, they are both actually very similar. They are from the Prospect series, they are from the Seiko Prospect series and you can see on the dial there's this uh, logo that looks like an X, uh, the alphabet X, but it is not, it's actually a combination of the letters P and S and Prospect actually stands for professional specification. So. I think uh, these are ISO rated divers and they are good to 200 meters water resistance. And in terms of their price points, they are also very similar. Both watches can be bought on the internet from online dealers. I think you need to spend about low 300 Singapore dollars. I got this one for uh, I think just under 300 dollars, the Samurai with the rubber strap. And I got the Turtle with the bracelet for just slightly over 300 Singapore dollars. Both are just great value watches. And here's a disclaimer on the prices that I've just mentioned. The affordable prices only apply to the more standard production models. And now I'm going to go on and talk about the differences between these two watches. And the first and very obvious difference would be the case shapes of these two watches. So on the Seiko Samurai, we've got a case that is full of angles, nicely chiseled, and it's a mixture of brush and polish finishes. I would say this is a more modern design as compared to the Seiko Turtle, which is full of curves. This one looks really organic. It's got more polished surfaces than the Samurai. It's got really nice curves going on and I think this one follows more of a vintage design, whereas the Samurai is more of a modern day design. The handsets and markers on both watches are also very different. On the Seiko Samurai, we've got more or less monster style kind of hands. We've got a sword and a broad arrow on the hour hand and we've got stick markers here. On the Seiko Turtle, we've got some kind of arrow and syringe style kind of vintage looking hands and we've got dots instead of uh, bars for the markers. So ultimately, I'll say it boils down to your personal preference when it comes to the handset and the markers. Some people may prefer the vintage style on the uh, Turtle, whereas some people may prefer the more modern and monstrous kind of feel uh, you will find on the uh, Samurai. And I hope you can bear with me as I uh, give out a rant on the decision to have the day-date function on the Seiko Turtle. I'm really not a big fan of day-date functions uh, and I dislike the white day-date function even more on the, on the Turtle here. So uh, if possible, I'll say it's best to have no date or no day and if you really need to have a day complication or a date complication at least make it uniform or make it black because i really feel that the date cut out in white it really spoils the harmony of the dial and now let's go on and talk about the wearability of both these two watches the seiko samurai and the seiko turtle they are both very easy to wear uh, although they're not small watches they're about 44 millimeters case size uh, case thickness is also very similar they're both about just slightly over 13 millimeters uh, thick and lug length both are about 48 millimeters so not a problem at all due to the uh, really short lug length both watches are very easy to wear but there's a bit of difference and only the owners of both watches can tell you the difference and i'm going to share with you my thoughts on their wearability so here you can see the seiko samurai on my wrist it is slightly on the bigger side but it's very manageable because there isn't very much uh, luck overhang but if you take a look at the side profile or the case side here you will see immediately that this is more or less a slab side design right this is almost perpendicular and 
it doesn't really hide the bulk at all and you know for sure this is a bulky watch so let's take a look at the crown and the crown guard area the crown is at the three o'clock position so if you like to wear your watches low lower down nearer to your hand so you might get a bit of rubbing against the back of your hand and just a reshot of the Seiko turtle now I'm going to show you something that is very different from the samurai now take a look here at the side profile you will see that the curves here actually make the watch look much slimmer and much smaller the case sort of disappears into your wrist due to the curves here all right so it makes the watch even easier to wear than the samurai that is a really blocky and chunky watch so this is really great design from seiko by by beveling the side of the case here and really makes the watch look much thinner although both watches are same in terms of thickness the crown placement is also uh, pretty different from the samurai we've got a three o'clock crown on samurai and over here we've got a four o'clock crown which probably makes it less uh, likely to rub against the back of your hand so in terms of wearability and how the watches will look on your wrist i'll just sum up this way by saying that the samurai makes no effort to hide the fact that it is a chunky masculine watch right it's rugged it is big and it wants you to know that it's big on the other hand the turtle despite being a very large watch same size as the samurai it actually does a really good job in hiding the thickness of the watch by having this bevel or curve inwards and also by moving the crown to the four o'clock position so um, this one here although a bit it is a big watch is trying to make it look smaller on your wrist so now back to the main point of this video I was telling you that I received a question from one of my viewers and you want to know how I answered this viewer of mine? Of course, I said get both. Why would you want to just get one? You need a mixture of both design cues in your collection. So the question is not which one to get. Okay, I like to modify the question. You should think about which one to get first. And for that question, I would tell anybody who asked me which one to get first, I would say get the one with the bracelet first because I feel that uh, even though Seiko bracelets have gotten lots of uh, negative reviews in the past uh, people keep talking about the uh, stem clasps and, and all that but I feel that Seiko bracelets are really decent they are solid end links, solid links and more importantly you can get a very good fit from Seiko bracelets because they've got many removable links so for people with smaller wrists you can do away, you can get away by removing more links from the six o'clock side. I think this one it allows up to three uh, or four, even four links removed from the six o'clock side. And that is very important for people with smaller wrists. So there you have it. The question is not about which one to get, it's more of which one to get first. So for me, I feel that you should get one that has a bracelet first. So if you're looking at a turtle or a samurai, I choose a model that comes with a bracelet first go for that one first and when you learn to appreciate the goodness of Seiko bracelets and the good fit that you get out of it then perhaps it's time to move on uh, to the next one and then maybe you can decide uh, by then if you want the rubber strap version or the bracelet version having said that I highly recommend any watch collectors to collect both the samurai and the turtle all right get both you will thank me for it. You're most welcome. And here's the watch Kaki signing off with George, who actually prefers green watches, but I'm sorry today we only have blue watches on display. Goodbye, I'll see you next week. Mm -hmm.